Bit Squad, welcome back to the channel. So tomorrow we're going to be doing our giveaway live stream for the last two months, and I will be announcing our next contest. So make sure you stay tuned for our live stream tomorrow. We got a quick video for you today. Got a lot of fireworks, family stuff going on later today, but do got to hit you guys with some news. We're going to be talking about Libra Coin, um, what the U.S. government is thinking about it right now. We're also going to be looking about how it compares to Bitcoin and PayPal. We're going to be looking at a major change that Binance is making in the way that you can deposit and withdraw Tether. And we're going to be looking at a few other news stories. Of course, our iOS tea break, we're going to be discussing quarter two, expectations for quarter three, got some big surprises. I'll let you guys know that. Let's jump into the markets. Market watch. All right, guys, we got Bitcoin coming in right now at $11,379. Price is surging. We've plateaued over the last couple hours, but it has been very good to see us return above 11,000. I told you guys yesterday, I don't think we will ever see Bitcoin below $10,000 again. Um, it is, of course, in the realm of possibility, but I don't see it. Now, currently, the market cap is coming at $324 billion, and Bitcoin dominance has risen 62.4%. It feels like that's got to hit a ceiling very soon, and once that happens, we'll see a sell-off, and uh, we'll see you know some altcoins pumping. Uh, for today, we have Tezos with a big pump. We're going to talk about why in just a little bit. Uh, Crypto.com chain, Energy which is destroying it. There's a huge energy airdrop. I'll tell you guys about that maybe another day this week, um, or maybe I'll just tell you now. There's an energy airdrop. Go check it out. Uh, it was worth, I believe, $400 a couple weeks ago. Now I think it's worth $800. It's 100 coins. Um, go check it out on your own risk. I think it'll be, um, I don't think it's a scam or anything. Uh, Bitcoin, speaking of scams, uh, up 11.71%. Bitem and Lambda all over 10%. Biggest losers of the day. Ren Walton Chain after its huge pump yesterday, returning to Earth, Puni X, Quantum, and Dai. It's time for the Fresh 5 Top News Stories of the Day, starting with number 5. All right, guys, so Binance is now going to change their Tether deposits and withdrawals to be ERC-20 based, also known as Ethereum based. So USDT is the ticker for Tether. It is a stable coin, what most traders use to get in and out of positions. Binance will be down for 30 minutes tomorrow for deposits and withdrawals of Tether, so you do need to be aware of that. Now, uh, there are three different types of Tether. There is the ERC-20 based, there's the Tron based, and I believe uh, the Omni based, well, not I believe, the Omni based is the original Tether. So Binance is now moving to ERC-20 based. Is this gonna affect you in your day-to-day -day trading? Probably not. I can't really see, you know, how it will happen. Uh, the only difference is when you withdraw, if you withdrew your Tether, you would be withdrawing the ERC-20 token as opposed to the Omni token. That's really the only difference. Unless someone has some kind of other thoughts on how this could affect things, I don't think it's going to affect things that much. But Binance did want to announce it, and they will be down tomorrow for 30 minutes. Number four. All right, guys, this was a story from last week, but I didn't cover it. I wanted to mention this. I felt like it's pretty important. So Square is expanding access to Bitcoin deposits for Cash App users. Now, previously with the Cash App, you could only buy Bitcoin there. You couldn't deposit or even really use it as a wallet per se. You could only move out of it. So it was basically a one-way wallet. But now you're going to be able to use Bitcoin deposits. And this is really big. This really makes Square where in terms of Bitcoin, it does become like a place you can store it, send it, move it. Um, you know, do basically anything you could do with any other wallet. Now, Square is a Bitcoin maximalist app, so don't be looking, at, you know, in the future to be able to use it as an altcoin wallet or anything like that. Now, of course, it's much better for you to keep your Bitcoin in your own wallet with your own private key and all that stuff. Not your keys, not your crypto. We certainly do understand all that. But I do feel like as we're moving towards, you know, another run and new people coming in this space, I think this is a great on-ramp uh, fiat-wise, maybe even better than, uh, you know, Coinbase. Um, I'm not sure how the fees compare. I have to do a little digging into that. Maybe a, a full video on this later next week. But definitely wanted to make you guys aware. Square now accepting Bitcoin deposits. Number three. All right, guys. A coin that's continuing to make big moves over the last several months is Tezos. Now, Tezos has now made an agreement with BTG Pactual and Dalma Capital, and they're going to be using uh, Tezos for security token offerings. Now, why is this big? Well, because this is actually Latin America's biggest bank. So they've actually now made a deal, um, is the largest standalone investment bank for Tezos, and that is why Tezos is pumping. There are several coins that I can think of over the last few months 
that have really stood out as looking like good investments, kind of proving their worth, um, and you know making better gains than a lot of other altcoins. I definitely look at Litecoin, of course, due to their happening. Uh, or having or having, however you want to say it. I'm also looking at Chainlink, continuing to make huge moves with interoperability and Tezos. Tezos has definitely been making big moves. Uh, if you have been in Tezos after a long, long, long time of not you know, getting any returns on that, the last several months have been great for you. So uh, you know, big ups to Tezos for making this big partnership and we'll just have to see how it all pans out. Number two. All right, guys, I found this absolutely fascinating graphic here about LibraCoin, Bitcoin, and PayPal. And basically what this graphic does is it compares all of these three different ways to spend money. Now, if you look, it's pretty obvious there's a huge difference with PayPal, which is they, uh, well, I wish I could highlight this here. But, you know, basically once you create your account, you're immediately linking to a bank, a third party. And if you'll read the Bitcoin and LibraCoin, uh, you know, uh, explanations here, you'll basically see that's the big difference. And now you start to understand why the banks are scared of LibraCoin. It's a name brand. People are going to know, people are going to use it. A lot of people don't trust Facebook, but we do know that your grandma doesn't know that Facebook's stealing her data. So LibraCoin is very similar to Bitcoin in the way that it cuts out the need for that third party. Now you may say LibraCoin and Facebook is a third party itself. Whole totally different conversation, but I'm gonna drop the link to this graphic down below in the video information at the top so you guys can check this out yourself and see the difference. Hold up, it's time for an iOS tea break. All right guys, for our iOS tea break, I just wanted to talk about um, my quarter two report. I'm looking to become a tier one content creator once again, as I did last quarter. Um, I filled out my report today, turned it in. They gotta be turned in by today or well, tomorrow, today-ish, in a few hours basically. And you know, the one thing I wanted to point out here is as you can see, these are all separate videos that I made. So you guys can see the report and see that I made a ton of content uh, for IOST this month. So much content, it's really insane. Uh, definitely got a lot of views combined on a lot of these videos. YouTube algorithm last week made a change. Still trying to figure out my views have dropped a little bit and things like that. Um, but of course you guys don't care about that. Now, the whole thing here is if I get tier one for quarter two, that means that all of the people that invested in my note are gonna get huge returns. So definitely pulling to get that tier one status. I got a lot of surprises coming for you guys for IOST net starting this quarter, probably in about two weeks, I'm gonna be making some big changes to or some big additions to my IOST content, not necessarily video related, but some other stuff that I do as well. So, you know, definitely be, you know, pulling for me to get that tier one status if you guys voted for me this quarter, but the reports have been turned in. Also looking forward to them doing the, the, the reports a little bit faster this time. As last time, there were seven days open for us to turn them in. This time it's four days. I'm hoping we'll get the payouts around mid-month this month instead of waiting until the end of the month like last time. But either way, um, you know, either way we'll be good as long as we get that tier one status. The number one crypto story of the day. I know you guys can't believe how fast I've done this video today. I can't either, but we're here at the number one story. And House Democrats call for Facebook to halt cryptocurrency project. Now, I do not want to get political. Um, that's one thing I definitely want to stay away, as far away from as possible. However, there are a lot of stories in crypto that do involve politics. And I feel like for me to really be honest and give my opinion about things, you know, th there are some statements I have to make here. I've said in the past that it seems like we're shaping up, as you know, we're a two-party system in America, and in America, almost every issue is split down the middle, Republican or Democrat, liberal or conservative. And it seems as if, even though Andrew Yang is a, is a liberal uh, Democrat, um, even though he is very pro-cryptocurrency, we're starting to see, it seems like the Democratic side of the aisle in the United States are turning on crypto or have never been for it, while the Republican and the conservative side have been a little more favorable to crypto. So the House Democrats are calling for Facebook to halt their cryptocurrency project. Now, this comes shortly after, uh, I believe Senator or Congressman, can't remember which one, Sherrod Brown um, made a statement that he thought this was a terrible idea and they needed to stop. He is a Democrat. Now we have a majority of the House Democrats or uh, a group of Democrats on the House Financial Services Committee calling on Facebook to stop LibraCoin. Now, why are they doing this? 
They're terrified that Libra coin could be a rival to the US dollar. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it, it is going to be. You guys watch and see what happens here. Um, you know, if they do want to fight against a rival of the US dollar, they're taking the fight to the right people because this is what is going to happen. Libra coin is going to become its own currency that people around the world can use. It is going to devalue the dollar. I don't know how much, but you know, we definitely have uh, Maxine Waters, uh, Carolyn Mahone, Maloney, Lacey Clay, Al Green, and Stephen Lynch signing a letter to get them to halt Libra coin. So, you know, this puts us in one of those like, who do you root for category, right? We got the US government, the Financial Services Committee, that of course, in a lot of ways, we're trying to fight them against regulation in cryptocurrency. And then you also have on the other side, Facebook, which everybody in crypto hates too. So I don't know, it's kind of like, you know, who, who do you cheer for? Um, Obviously, I'm going to cheer for Libra coin because I've told you guys before, I believe that this is actually going to be good for cryptocurrency. I believe it's going to be good for Bitcoin. I might eat those words one day and I'm willing to throw my own thoughts out in order to, you know, put myself out there as, hey, this is what I think will happen. I could be wrong, but I believe based on the information I have now, this is going to be good for cryptocurrency. So I'm definitely pulling for, you know, Zuck and the gang to just roll right on past uh, you know, these calls, they're not official requests. These aren't legal documents. They're just requests and calls for them to stop this. So I don't think they will be stopped. I think Facebook Libra coin will launch next year. Um, but I do think that we will see a lot of committee meetings. I think we will see a Zuck and the rest of the people from Facebook, um, including a CEO. I think her name is Cheryl Sandberg. Is, is that right? Um, let's see. It's in here somewhere. I can't see it now. I believe that's her name though. Uh, yeah, Cheryl Sandberg, COO. She's the COO, excuse me. Um, so she's the COO. We will see her probably on Capitol Hill. Maybe Zuck as well. We might get some good memes out of it at the bare minimum. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy your 4th of July. If you live in America, it's our day. Go America. Happy birthday. We'll talk to you guys later. Fitboy out.